This is the problem I encountered in my early baking. Light leakage at the intersection of two walls. Intermittent pixels. Ugly black lines. Obvious gradient bandings, and so on. I will show you the reasons for these problems and how to avoid them. This not only applies to Blender, but also to the baked lighting in Unity and Unreal game engines. Look at the first situation, the issue of light leakage. The main reason is model self-intersection. Check the model's mesh. First, let me explain what is the texture filtering. I will mention two common texture filtering methods, linear and closest. Closest does not process the texture, so you can clearly see the pixel grid. The linear method blends two adjacent pixels, creating a blurred effect that reduces the jagged appearance of the texture. Currently, in this baking, the outside of the room is bright, while the inside is relatively dark. Check the pixel grid. You cannot guarantee that the intersection of the model is exactly in the middle of two pixels, so there will be light leakage. Let's look at the baking of larger textures. Even if the model's intersection is right between two pixels, using linear filtering still shows light leakage due to blending between adjacent pixels. Increasing the texture size can only diminish the light leakage issue, but cannot completely prevent it. Now for the second situation. Each face's UVs are independent, with no connections. You can see some obvious black lines due to denoising after baking. When checking the texture with denoise turned off, the black lines are nearly gone. Larger textures have completely eliminated these lines. Denoise greatly improves texture quality, so turning it off to solve the issue is not worth it. Therefore, try to link UVs whenever possible. The third situation is like this. The UV is skewed, and the texture on the model is also skewed. You can see that the skewed pixels at the UV border are very obvious. It makes the originally regular model look rough. Even with linear filtering, you can see some intermittent effects at the UV boundaries and at the junction of light and dark. Larger textures look slightly better, but upon closer inspection, the jagged pixels are still evident. That's why this issue came up. Next, I believe well-organized UVs are aligned horizontally and vertically following the pixel direction. Compared to the previous skewed UVs, the aligned UVs yield significantly better baked textures without the jagged appearance. Low resolution texture doesn't look too unacceptable. Let's look at the next situation. Focus on this area. The previous baked effect appears very dark here, and large textures still exhibit this problem. The main reason is that unseen faces have not been removed. Since lighting does not affect them, they have been baked to black. With linear filtering, the black pixels will bleed over, making this area look darker. Therefore, I recommend that a good model for baking should have unseen faces removed and UVs aligned pixels as much as possible. Next, let's take a look at the obvious gradient bandings on the wall during the previous baking of nighttime. Check the model. You should be able to see the gradient bandings. In high quality, this gradient banding is almost eliminated. Let's look at this description. In the early days of computer graphics, the hardware was not very advanced, limiting the colors and contrast we could use on a single image. For example, this 4-bit image is like the era of pixel games where you can see the pixels. With advancements in hardware and computer graphics, we now utilize higher bit images. 
Moving from 4-bit to 8-bit allows for many more colors. 8-bit is now the mainstream image format due to its smaller size and efficiency online. However, even 8-bit images can still show noticeable banding in certain situations. Thus, using 16 or higher bit images is essential for high quality demands. The 16-bit format subdivides colors, making images appear smoother. This is how I solve the problem of obvious gradient bandings. Look at the final baking. The baking quality is very high. This is the texture baking that avoids the problems mentioned above. The Vision Pro environment I made is baked like this. Okay, this is the explanation of the baking problem. In the next part, I will show you how the day and night transition is achieved.